Okay. Good morning, NCC ADP community. We are on day eight of our walk for commutation, 136 <laughs> miles for 136 lives. And I am here by two, um, beside two amazing abolitionists. We know Jack Payton Travers has been walking with us, but today we are joined by Ken Rose, and I am so excited. And Ricky's behind the camera offering um, driving support. So we are halfway through, amazing. After today, we will have walked 70 miles. Um, we've been at this for a week. That means we're also a week out from our big celebration at Pullman Memorial Baptist Church, Thursday, October 10th, 7 p.m. Go to our website, register so we know you're coming. But I wanna take a pause. It occurred to me, I'm about, all about numbers, obviously, 136 miles, 136 lives. We hope to walk 12 miles today. Why is the number 12 significant to us in North Carolina? That is the number of exonerees from death row at this point. Uh, believing that there are probably other innocent people on our death row. So I want to read the 12 names of individuals who have been exonerated from our death row. LaVon Bo Jones, Henry McCollum, Leon Brown, Jonathan Hoffman, Alan Gell, Glenn Edward Chapman, Alfred Rivera, Samuel Poole, Christopher Spicer, and Charles Ray Finch. 11 of them men of color. Combined, they served 157 years on our death row, wrongfully convicted, innocent, and yet sentenced to death. There's so many reasons to oppose the death penalty. Innocence, if that's the one that touches your heart, then would you please share with a friend today that there are 12 people who have been exonerated from North Carolina's death row. We're gonna be honoring those 12 men as we walk 12 miles today. We will end at a lynching site today, which is where we will begin tomorrow. And so we'll have a more extensive um, live stream tomorrow at that site but um, I want to read the name of the gentleman who was lynched uh, not too far from here. His name was Cyrus Guy, and he was murdered on December 1st, 1869. He's a, he was a 24 year old Afro indigenous farmer who had never been enslaved, having grown up in a family listed as free persons of color since the early 1800s. So the other thing that we are walking for is to draw the direct connection to these historic sites and these modern day sites that illustrate the systemic racism that pervades our community still, but particularly in our criminal legal system and is the foundation for our death penalty system as well. Jack, Ken, what would you add as we set out for the walk today? Well, there were 12 men from Forsyth County who are on death row. So that's another yes. reason for the number 12. Yeah. Yeah, I would add that I'm, it is really my honor to be here today with two of my heroes. Um, Jack, who, who for years worked here, but also then worked in Virginia and had remarkable success in terms of his contributions in, in, to Virginia's abolition of the death penalty. Um, Noel, who um, oh, let's get walking. Yeah, no, <laughs> Noel, who who um, in in Asheville, we haven't had a death sentence in Asheville, Noel, since 2001. Am I right about that? Sounds right. Yeah, and and several of the people in Buckham County who were sentenced to death um, are now off of death row, and that is no little tribute and no little part due to to your amazing. Well, and two attorneys that represented those individuals. Yes. And to the yes. district attorney of Bunker County. Absolutely. So, you know, I think we have, we've had a lot of success and we have, we can't forget that, but we also have a, a lot more to do. Yes. And today we're going to walk. We invite you to follow along. We'll be posting some pictures later on this evening and invite you to join us from wherever you are. You're invited to walk and let us know, but also join us along the route as we are heading towards Durham. Chapel Hill in the days to come. Have a great day.